Hi guys, it's Harry from Kickstart Commerce and I'm here today with my first tutorial on the YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be talking you through uh, OG meta tags and how to add them to your big commerce store. So firstly, OG meta tags uh, are what platforms like Google, Twitter or Facebook use to uh, basically provide a little preview box uh, similar to this when you, the URL of your store or your website uh, is entered into the text box. So this is an example on Facebook where uh, this URL has been pasted and this preview box with a, a nice image, title, description and URL pops up and this would be a nice clickable link to the page that's being referred to. Um, another example of this would be on Twitter so on Twitter here, that would be the URL uh, that someone has typed. And this is the preview box that shows up automatically. And this data is pulled from OG meta tags in your site code. So if I go back to this one, these are the six tags that you will want to add to your BigCommerce store. And I will show you how to do that later, but let me just talk you through these tags now. So the URL here is the URL that will show up at the bottom of the preview. So for the sake of this example, I will take the URL from this store. And if we add that in here, this would be the URL of your own store um, without anything on the end, just the standard URL. And uh, this is my example of it. The OG type. Now, I'm going to be adding this to both the home page HTML and the base HTML, uh, which should make the uh, tags appear on the codes of every page. So it should give a preview for uh, every page uh, on your site. So the type for this would be website. Um, I know other types may be article um, or stuff like that, but I'm doing it for a website. You may have to look that up yourself if you are doing OG tags for a different type of content. So the meta property title, so that would be this title here. I'm just going to say this is an example of the title. Uh, and the description, uh, the bit that would be underneath the title, uh, this is an example of the description. And now the OG image tag. Uh, so what you're going to need is an image. Um, I think the recommended dimensions are 1200 by 637 pixels. But once you've got the basics down, you should be able to uh, have a play around with that and change the dimensions as you wish. So for the image tag, you're going to need an image URL. So if you have the chosen image saved, uh, I'm going to put a logo in there. Um, if you have that saved on your computer, I can show you how to add that and find the image URL in BigCommerce. So if we go into the back office, Navigate to Storefront and Image Manager. So this is where we can manage the images. Uh, this is the logo that I'm going to use. Uh, I've already added it in, but if you were to upload it, you would just click Upload Images, choose File, and you'd pick it from there and upload it. And then it would come into this gallery here and to get the URL for the image, if we just click on it and open it up, we can see the URL for the image up here. Now you're going to need that whole URL, everything before the question mark. All this code afterwards isn't necessary. The picture would still load without it. So we're just going to take that and we can add that to our tags. I am going to leave a, a set of these tags down in the description. Um, so if anyone wants to copy them straight from there and fill them in like that, uh, they will be down in the description. 
Now the last tag is the image alt tag. Now this isn't necessary, it's not required, um, but sometimes it's nice to put uh, the alternative tags in there. And this can be good for if your page is running slow um, and it can't load a high resolution image, then uh, it can upload a alternative description. So for example, uh, high resolution example company logo. It's also good for people who are visually impaired who might be using screen readers. Um, the alt tag will read out what the image is meant to be there. So that can be quite helpful for that as well. So if we just go and copy these tags now that they've been completed, uh, control C. And if I just shut this, I'll now show you how to add it to your theme files in BigCommerce. So if we go into storefront, uh, navigate to my themes. And you should get to this screen here. So best practice for editing themes would be to go to the advanced drop down and make a copy of the theme. I will call it vault 9th of December and save a copy. And your copy should appear down here. There we go. Now, if we go to the three pips and apply this copy, then we can start editing this most recent version now. So if we go to advanced and edit theme files, Right, so now we are in the theme files. Uh, there are two places we'll need to add these tags in. So the first place will be in templates, layout, and home.html. It's not the same as this home.html, so make sure you find it from the templates layout section. And in this home.html, you need to add in the tags underneath this open head tag and above this close head tag. So if we just go down to the bottom and paste that in, I'm just gonna add the indents so it's easy to read the code. And now if we save and apply that. Right, so that has been applied. So if we now refresh the home page of the store, And we view the page source. We should see in this head tag and before the close head tag, we now have the OG meta tags in here. So that is on the home page now, um, and that should work. I'll show you how you can also check the uh, preview of that as well. Um, and the second place to add the code is in the base.html file, which is in templates, layout, and then base.html. And similar to the first one, we are going to add this in above the close head tag. Add the indentations. And save and apply that. Okay, so now we've added those tags to the base.html file as well. We can go and check on most of the other pages to see if that code is in there. So if we go to uh, privacy and cookie policy, which is a basic page, and we view the page source, we can see above this closed head tag is where the meta tags have appeared. So that should mean that the home page and other pages in your site, basic pages, uh, now have the OG metadata in them. Uh, I will quickly show you uh, one more example. So the product pages on BigCommerce uh, do the OG tags slightly differently. Um, they auto fill some of the information. Um, so if we do a quick before, 
view the page source of this. There are already some meta tags in there already. Um, and this takes from the product title, um, the description you can add in the product itself in the back office, and the rest of it seems to add itself in. So if I now go into the back office and view this product, we scroll down to the bottom where the SEO is and the open graph sharing, we can uh, change the page title and the meta description here. So uh, if I take off that, uh, for example, um, let's just put example description on the end. Uh, we can take this uh, page title if we untick the use product name bit um, or add that in there and use meta description yep that's fine but obviously if you wanted to untick that you could put a uh, you could put a box in like that so uh, and it says use thumbnail image, uh, you don't have to use a thumbnail image, but that's up to you. So if we save that now, and we look at the page source again, we can now see that this description is example description. The title is test product for video. So that's made those changes in the code now as well. So if I go back to the home page, I can show you how the preview will show up in previews by using this Facebook tool here. I will leave a link to this in the description as well if you want to test yours out. Um, so if we click debug, and scrape again just to make sure it's up to date. So here we have the company logo added in, the uh, title, the description, and the URL. So that's how it would show up uh, by pulling through the OG metadata tags. So if you guys uh, have any questions about this topic or you have a suggestion for a tutorial you'd like us to cover on Big Commerce, then uh, drop it in the comments or uh, give us a message and we'll look at covering that in a future video. But for now, see you later.